Hello and welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist here on this Sunday, March 29th. Today we offer this Mass for the health of um, Jose Antonio Martinez and family, Aurelia Diaz and family, Gerardo Martinez and family, Rafael Baron, Iris Baron, Isaias Baron, Alicia Reyes and family, Elias Perez, Sandra Perez, Franco Madrigal, Daniela y Diana Gomez, Brenda Guzman Torres. And for those who have passed on, Ana Ceja, Asuncion Ceja, Juan Soria, Abundio Vences, Caroline Clays, Micaela Diaz, Guadalupe Ceja Vences, Jose Delgado, Antonia Mercado Sabanar, Mauricio Estrada, Gloria Estrada Hernández, Gloria Hernández y Jesús Muñoz. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. With your spirit. My friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the second mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most gracious fault. Therefore, I have blessed Mary, every Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God, with mercy and us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. By your help, we visit you. Lord our God, may we work regularly in that same charity with which out for love for the world, your Son and Himself over the there. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you raised from them, and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you should know that I am the Lord, when I open your graves and have you raised from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in you, that you may live, and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of our depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice and supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O oh Lord, mark my iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you, 
is forgiveness, that you might be rebirth. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. More than sentinels wait for the dawn, let Israel wait for the Lord. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit. If only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give you life to your immortal bodies also, through his Spirit dwelling in you. The Word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Now, a man who was ill, Lazarus from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who had anointed the Lord with perfume, oil, and dried his feet with her eyes. It was her brother Lazarus who was here. So the sister sent the word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is here. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was here, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just trying to stun you, and you want to go back there? Jesus answered, Are they not twelve hours in a day? If one works during the day, he does not stun because he sees the light of his of this world. But if one were a night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. He said this and then told them, Our friend Lazarus is asleep. I am going to awaken him. 
So the disciple said to him, Master, if he is asleep, he will be saved. But Jesus was talking about his death while they thought that I mean ordinary sleep. So then Jesus said to them clearly, Lazarus has died. And I am glad for you that I was not there, that you may believe. Let us go to him. So Thomas called his and said to his fellow disciple, let us also go to die with him. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the town for four days. Now, Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother could not be died, not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask, of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise. In the resurrection on the last day, Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he die, will live. And whoever who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. When she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary secretly, saying, The teacher is here and is asking for you. As soon as she heard this, she rose quickly and went to him. For Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still where Martha had met him. So when the Jews who were with her in the house comforted her, so Mary get up quickly and go out, they followed her. Assuming that she was going to the town to weep there. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother could not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the youths who had gone with her weeping, he became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you lied him? They say to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the youth said, See, how he loved him. But son of them said, 
to not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man could not have died. So Jesus persuaded again come to the town. It was a cave and a stone lie across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, I know there will be a stench. He has been there for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus! Come out, the dead man come out, tied hands and foot with burial bands, and his face was grappled in a cloud. So Jesus said to them, untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who have come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Into the Gospel, Thomas makes a certain statement. When Jesus determined he will go to Bethlehem, Thomas said to the other disciples, let us also go to die with him. How this might sound a little melodramic. Thomas and the other disciples had reason, reason to believe that their association with Jesus could ultimately end in their own violence death. Since Jesus barely escaped ancient by an angry mob and his last visit to Jerusalem, it seems for hardly to return again. Into the gospel, Jesus entered Bethlehem, which we are told is near Jerusalem, where he very completely rises his friend Lazarus from there to the light. This remarkable sign of Jesus' authority over everything, including there, lead directly to plan for his crucifixion by the chief priests and Pharisees. Within today's Gospel, we find life that is strong than death and for shadow for the triumph over there that will happen in Jesus' resurrection but the only way to this newness of life is through there and for all of their good intention and the religious leader and crowd do finally carry out their plan to execute Jesus. Every one of the twelve, save the beloved disciple, are not well to be found. This is required this willingness to follow Jesus, even unto death. Each Lent, 
which they did set foot still. From the temptation and the research and the beginning of his public ministry to his last breath on the cross. This year, we say with Thomas, let us also go to die with him, for only in sharing this death do we arrive at the joys of the Easter morning. I believe in one God, the Father, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of man, consistential with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated by the, of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under the pants of fire. He suffered there and was found and rose again in the third day in accordance with the sweet truth. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophet. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With Martha, we proclaim you are the Christ, the Son of God, and so, with faith, bring our need before the Lord. Our response is, have mercy on us, O Lord, and mercy have mercy on us, O Lord. For those who are suffering in the current outbreak of sickness, that they might be healed, and for the happy repose of all who have died from the sickness, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For scientists, health professionals, public officials, and all who are serving the common good in this difficult and uncertain time, that they will be filled with wisdom and understanding, we pray to the Lord. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. That in times of illness, our merciful and loving Father will strengthen our faith and trust in His goodness and divine providence and compassionate Father, touch all affected by the current outbreak with healing and peace. And peace, we praise the Lord. We pray to the Lord. That those preparing for the Easter sacraments learn to die to self like Jesus, in order to rise like Lazarus and be healed, the dying be com comforted, and their caregivers be renewed in spirit. We pray to the Lord. That those who gather around this table reach out with love, and those who grieve, let us pray to the Lord. In thanks, okay. In thanksgiving to no, no thanksgiving. Sorry. In health and welfare for. Jose Antonio Martinez, Aurelia Diaz, Gerardo Martinez and family, Rafael Barón, Iris Barón, Isaiah Barón, Alicia Reyes and family, Elias Perez Jr., Sandra Perez, Franco Madrigal, Daniela and Diana Gomez, Brenda Guzman Torres. We pray to the Lord. 
for our deceased brothers and sisters, especially Anna Seja, Asuncion Seja, Juan Soria, Abundino Vences, Carolyn Clays, Micaela de Diaz, Guadalupe Seja Vences, Jose Delgado, Antonia Mercado Salas Salanar, Maurillo Estrada, Gloria Estrada, Gloria Hernandez, and Jose Munoz. We pray to the Lord. God, source of God and live everlasting, you tell your people to the prophet Ezekiel, I will open your name and have your right to name. Hear our prayer that our faith in you may be strengthened and our lives transformed. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Bless the Lord God, the whole creation, the good that we have received. The bread we offer you, Lord, to the end and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless the Lord God. Bless the Lord God, the whole creation, the good that we have received. When we offer you through the divine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual friend. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the honor of your Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled your servant, the teaching of the Christian faith, grace and purify them. In the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We will give from. thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father Most Holy. To your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word for whom you made all things, who you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to bless the bones of the other manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and heaven earth, and earth are full of your glory. O Son and in the highest, blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord. O Son and in the highest, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy day for this gift we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the Father, so that they may become for us the body and blood of 
our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was retired and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was in the year, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you there, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the cup of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the life of your face. For mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through Him and with Him and in Him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior command, and formed by the banquet, without to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom of our Lord and the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer his other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be in comfort among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We'd like to thank you for your continued support here at Our Lady of the Assumption Church. We remind you that our church is only available via you guys. So that means we could always use your financial support. Please feel free to contact us via email here at info at ladyassumptionchurch.org or also at the comments below. You can add your own petitions and we'll be looking at those in the comments to say your petitions here during the church. So any offerings or petitions you'd like, to, you'd like us to mention in the next Mass, feel free to add in the comments below. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your the spirit. Lord bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go Thanks. in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God.